Hello and welcome back to another Cricut video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this etched beer mug. All you need for this tutorial is basically some etching cream and a mug, but you also need a few other supplies as well. So let's jump right into the video. First, what you wanna do is add your text. So I will go over and click the text button and then type the letter J. And then I will type, click the text tool again and type the name Joshua. And I'm going to change the font. And the font that I am using is this Plantagenet Cherokee font. I think this font came embedded on my MacBook already. You can probably download it online from someplace or, or you can even use a font that already has a little feet. I think those are sans serif fonts that has the little tails on the, um, on the letters themselves. So then I would just click the J and then select that same font. Now what I want to do is to rotate the name Joshua and I'm going to rotate it to 270 degrees and move it over and then just make it a bit smaller and let me see. So I know that I want my overall design to be about two inches wide. So I'm just gonna make that adjustment right now. And this is what that is looking like. Um, so I my J is 1.568 inches tall. So I think I'm gonna change my, the words Joshua to be about the same um, width. Okay, so those are now the same width. And what I need to do lastly is to add a shape and then choose the square and I will unlock it and just make it super tiny. And I think I want it to be the same height as well. So I will click on the J, select the height again, and then come over to the line and paste that in. Okay, so our design is starting to come together. So what I'll do now is to select everything and then click, I think it's centered vertically. And I think that looks really good. So if you want to, you can make sure that, you know, the space in between the pieces are how you want them. Um, again, I want this overall design to be about two inches wide. So I will just change that to two. And this is what it looks like. So what I wanna do now is you just click the attach button, click the make it button. And you can see the design right here. And this actually looks a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, the overall design. So I guess whenever I um, attached it, it's not two inches. So I'm gonna change it to two inches. And that looks more realistic. I'm not sure what was happening before. Okay, so now I will click the make it button and then just drag this over to the top right corner of my mat because um, that side is the stickiest part of my mat. So then I will click the continue button and wait for my Cricut to connect to my uh, computer. And then I will just choose premium vinyl. So now what I'll do is to show you all the materials I'll be using and then start cutting my vinyl. So these are all the materials I'll be using for this project. I have my alcohol over here. I have some paper towels. This is the beer mug that I'll be using and I got this beer mug from Dollar Tree. I also have some black vinyl that I'll be using. This is the armor etch that I have and I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can get it from Joanne or Michaels or even Amazon or Walmart. I have these little uh, popsicle sticks that I'll be using to apply my armor etch to the glass. And you also need some gloves so that you don't get the armor etch on your hands. So what I'll do now is to put my vinyl onto my mat and cut out the design. So my design has been cut. What I'll do now is move some of this out of the way and I will take my scissors and cut off the extra vinyl. And 
And then what you want to do is to uh, peel or weed out your actual design. So you want to leave the black pieces around, but you want to take out the negative piece. So I'll show you. So here you can see I peeled out the J and then I'm just going to continue um, peeling out the rest of the design. Okay, so this is my finished design. And again, you want to peel out the part that you usually leave behind. So then I'll take some transfer tape and I will add it to the top of my design. Use my scraper tool to burnish the design. Okay, so I'm going to sit this to the side until I clean off my beer mug. So I'm gonna take my paper towel Add some alcohol and then clean off the side where I will apply my design. Also be sure to dry off your mug. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a second just so that it can completely dry. Okay, so now I'm going to take my vinyl and apply it to my mug. I think that looks pretty good. So I have about this much space left from the top of my design. And at the bottom, there's a little bit more space, but I think that's okay. So I'm going to peel off my transfer tape now. But before I do that, I'm gonna press down my design onto the glass. So now we'll peel off the transfer tape. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my gloves. Okay, so what I wanna do now is to get out all the air bubbles. Okay, and then I am going to take some duct tape and to just put it around the top border and then maybe on this side and this side. And the reason you do that is so that when you wash your glass and the etch cream comes off, it doesn't get on these pieces. And you can also use any tape that you have on hand. And this duct tape is what I just happen to have. Okay, so again, putting the tape around your design ensures that the etching cream does not, you know, happen to get onto the other pieces of the glass. So what I'll do now is to shake up my etching cream. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to open my etching cream and apply it to my design. So I will take my popsicle stick and just scoop some out and then just dab it onto my design and smooth it all over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to just smooth out the etching cream back and forth for about between five to 10 minutes. Um, and the reason you do this is so that it can get all into the vinyl and cut out your design the way that you want it. And again, aren't you glad that we put the uh, tape on the side so that the etching cream won't get onto, um, onto the rest of your glass? Okay, so now I am going to let the etching cream sit for about five minutes. And what I'm going to do is to set a timer on my phone. Okay, so my timer just went off. So what I'm going to do now is to take this to my restroom 
and wash off the um, etching cream. But before I do that, I'm just gonna take another popsicle stick and scrape off some of the etching cream. Okay, so here I am in my restroom and I am just about to wash off the etching cream from the glass. Okay, so I'm back and I have washed off the etching cream. So what I'm going to do now is to peel off the duct tape and the vinyl. I'll take my weeder and get these little pieces off. And then I will take my paper towel and wipe it off some more. Wipe it dry. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful. What I'll do next is to um, put a black piece of cardstock in here so that you can see what it actually looks like. So here's my black cardstock, and I'm just going to roll it up. Okay, so you should be able to see that name now. And I think that this looks super duper good. And if you see any specks, it's probably because of the lint from the paper towel that I was using to dry off the glass. But I will be sure to um, just clean this glass up really nicely before I um, gift it out to my brother who I made this for. And um, also, um, with etching your glass you can also put this in a dishwasher so he doesn't have to worry about hand washing this glass so i hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching